love, find on some shit. You know, hey, you know, spit the truth in the booth, ain't no lie. Sky's the limit, I'm so fly. What's up, guys? It's your girl Alicia back again with another video, aka Icon Simone. You already know the vibes. Um, we're gonna get into it. This is the day after Thanksgiving. We're gonna get into it as I eat my food. <laughs> I spent my Thanksgiving at my boyfriend's house, so you already know. Anyways, um, this is gonna be a can I vet video. Cause lately, mm, first off, put down in the comments, like, how was y'all's Thanksgiving? Who cooked what? Was it good? Was it bad? What's the team on that? How's the family doing? All that in the comments. But, nah, I really wanted to like talk about mm, I don't know why but lately, you know, I've just been feeling very like stuck. You feel me? So, I'm 23. And lately, I really haven't felt motivated, you know, to really do much of anything. It sounds really bad, but it's not true, so I can't be mad at that. Um, I don't know. And today, for some reason, like the ship. The shit quick today, I don't know. Anyways. I have come to the realization that you know I don't need to be where I think I need to be in my head. That doesn't mean slow down or get lazy or mm, let me smack it on go. But yeah, realize where I'm at in my life and know that things are gonna get better and my life's going in the way that it's supposed to go. Cause I don't know about you, but what tends to happen with me is that I tend to get a little frustrated with myself. And within that frustration, I get demotivated. And within that demotivation, I don't wanna do anything. I've come to realize that that can't be the case it's okay sometimes to be demotivated and it's okay to 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 want to do more but it's never okay to try and stress yourself out it doesn't do you good and you know i feel like social media we're in a time where social media has kind of put like a a shadow over us where we feel like we need to be where we need to be quicker and I've come to the conclusion that when my mom was this age, when my mom was 23, she wasn't doing half the things that I was doing. Um, she was in college. Uh, she's Jamaican, so she came, she came here from Jamaica. Regardless, like, she didn't have the mindset that I have. She didn't have the, all of the things that we have now. You feel me? And I just feel like considering we have all of these things, we also need to know that they can also be used against us in the way if we allow it to stress us out. You feel me? So I feel like well, that's what I've been doing lately. Instead of just doing things and taking my time, I've really just been looking at the bigger picture instead of the smaller picture and start with the smaller picture and i feel like a lot of us do that so you know this is my advice me taking my own advice and also just you know spreading some advice to the world that you know things happen in the time that it needs to happen and you stressing yourself out doesn't make it anything happen any quicker you feel me girl put down my plate jesus but yeah it doesn't it doesn't rush things along when you stress yourself out you feel me so 
take your time and know that things are gonna happen when they're supposed to happen you feel me but you know with that being said um i've made a life choice um to become a nurse for a for a so i know that in itself is gonna be a whole nother stress level but i really came on this video to like really inform y'all that it's okay to be where y'all are at right now your parents weren't where you you're at right now you feel me like i've i've do hair i've been a manager i've you know what i'm saying i make i've made my own money since i got out of high school and i've never really asked my mom for anything I actually i've never asked her really for anything for her you feel me um well for my mom and for her mom it was different like she they had to ask for help you know they weren't you know it's just everything is different social media puts this kind of like stigmatism that we need to all be doing and pushing forward and consistently going look if you feel stuck know that you aren't stuck and know that it's an emotion my boyfriend tells me all the time that energy flows and emotions that's an energy it's going to be consistently moving you aren't going to feel like that forever so with that being said feel stuck make points to change the things in your life so you don't feel that way anymore but also understand that you have to do it day by day you can't look at it the whole picture always it's gonna stress you out if you do that find other outlets find other ways of you know trying to figure things out but know that you have an end goal and know that you do need to actually reach your end goal okay so again what we're not doing we're not stressing ourselves out so we are understanding that we're only human we're only fucking human i can only do as much as i fucking possibly can and it's okay it's okay because in the end you're gonna get to where you want to be regardless of whatever whatever the situation is you're gonna get there three find time for yourself things that you like to do self-care um getting your nails done make sure that within this these processes if you're trying to figure out your life or trying to get your life together you're doing things that you like doing things that matter to you because at, at the end of the day it's your life no one's gonna be able to live your life for you even if you get married tomorrow your husband's not gonna be able to live your life if you aren't happy with what you're doing and who you are right then and now you're never gonna be happy with or without somebody so make sure you are while you're figuring out what to do with your life you're finding who you are and what's your niche and what you like to do and how you like to do things as well those things are important and they're going to make you who you are and also help support the things that you want to do in life now for me i realized that i love doing hair i love doing hair i love doing hair do i find it to be something that I want to do for the rest of my life no I've realized that I've realized that I like watching CSI and all those like investigator shows okay cool I realized that I like to be you know continuously using my mind and exercising that part of my brain and all of that great stuff I'm gonna be a forensic nurse that's what I'm gonna specialize in but I have to understand that there's things before that need to be put in place. But yeah. So that is advice for me to you and really for me to me. For me, because I'm talking to myself. I'm having a conversation with myself. And in turn, hopefully it helps y'all. But this is motivation, self-motivation for myself as well. So keep going. Don't stress myself out. Self-care. Remember to take care of yourself. Remember that you are beautiful you are loved all of that my journey is my journey and i can't rush it so
that's what I've come to realize. So, if y'all like this video, I want you to put a like. <laughs> I want you to like this video. I want you to um, comment down below, you know, your aspirations, your goals, your dreams, what you want to do with yourself. And, you know, we're going to reach there together. That's the point of this channel. You're going to grow with me. We're going to do things on our own, at our own pace together. Period. 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 <laughs> um, so, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And, bye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is this love or true? I'm in love with you.